Hey friend, how are you? Good, let's watch a science fiction movie. Sounds good. We're approaching the event horizon. We need to act fast or we'll be lost forever. Captain, we have to reverse the engines now or we'll be sucked in completely. Uh, that won't work. We need to find another way to create enough thrust to pull away from the black hole's gravity. What if we use the ship's weapons to create a series of explosions to push us away? It's worth a shot, but we need to time it perfectly or we'll be caught in the shockwave. I'll prepare the weapon systems and try to calculate the timing. But Captain, I have to be honest with you. The chances of survival are slim. I know the risks, but we have to try. We can't give up now. Understood, Captain. Weapon systems are ready. Initiating the sequence now. Hold on tight, everyone. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Oh. It's working, Captain. We're pulling away from the event horizon. Great job, First Officer. Now let's get out of here before the black hole claims us. Okay, what do you think? I found that story to be problematic. It seemed to normalize patriarchal power structures, with the captain as the hero and the First Officer as the sidekick. I respectfully disagree. I think the story subverts the traditional science fiction genre by using weapons for a peaceful purpose, to save lives. And the black hole can be seen as a metaphor for the oppressive nature of hegemonic heteronormative narratives. I can see your point about the weapons being used for a peaceful purpose, but I still think the captain. First officer dynamic reinforces gender stereotypes. The captain is the leader, the one in charge while the first officer is relegated to a supportive role. But isn't it possible that the first officer is actually the one who comes up with the solution to the problem? It's their idea to use the ship's weapons to create the necessary thrust to escape the black hole. That's true, but the story still centers around the captain's heroism. It reinforces the idea that men are the ones in charge, the ones who make the important decisions, I see what you're saying, but I think it's important to recognize the subversive elements of the story as well. The use of weapons for a peaceful purpose challenges the idea that violence is the only solution to problems in the genre. And the black hole can be seen as a metaphor for the oppressive nature of dominant narratives that try to control and define our lives. That's an interesting interpretation. I suppose there are multiple ways to read the story. Perhaps it's both reinforcing and subverting patriarchal power structures at the same time. Exactly. And that's what makes it such a rich text to analyze and interpret. 